Hey guys, Copperhead Crew, and this is how to skip a swim bait. If you saw my last video, I saw I did. Wow, again, every video. That's gonna be my signature, dropping the camera. I, I did a little bit about skipping, but now I'm gonna do it into into depth. So you're gonna get a good roll cast. Like I said in the last video, if you want, you can wade into the water if you have muck boots or waders. Just a good roll cast. Try, and try to keep it level with the water. Like that, that was really high on the water. And that didn't skip. Well, it did, but that's just my, I, my raw tip hit the water, so then my lure hit the water. You just want to get, like, about a foot, foot and a half of line out. Good rule cast. I don't like being in the water so much, because it's just harder, because you have to worry about hitting the water. that one six skips I think you actually got that I'm not sure I don't have a GoPro I'm filming on my little camera that can only film for 20 minutes at a time I'm just kind of doing some burning today the water temperature is a little bit warmer I have a little four pin inch shad on here, and so I'm figuring that maybe that'll make the pass when I eat it. Wow, I just caught a loop on my thumb. Never done that before. Well, I have, but not big loops. And so when you do that, you want to get a good rule cast. That's way too much line. That's about right. So that's about the right amount of line to have between your lure and your rod tip. And you're gonna, you have to feather the spool. This isn't one of those options where you can, like if you set your spool right, you don't have to feather the spool. No, you have to feather the spool. I mean, you don't, but you're gonna get backlashed a lot if you don't. You need to feather this. And just, you have to have your thumb on that. That's just like not even optional. If you're using a baitcaster, if you're using a spinning rod, then you're fine. If you're me who doesn't like spinning rods very much, so I always backlash on them. That's funny. I'm the one who's... Everybody else backlashes on bait casters. I'm the one kid who can... Bear, who barely ever backlashes on casting rods. And can't, do, and can't do crap on a spinning rod. Maybe those fish there. Right the pads. Pads, yeah, there's pads here now. And for those of you who want to get a good cat... So that, that's going to be it for the skipping. For those of you who are just starting it out with a bait caster, and you can't get a good overhead cast because you backlash like I did when I just started, here's what I figured out you can do to get a better cast, better, longer cast, but yet still have a non-backlash thing with your Right, start starting out. As long as you're making it look somewhat realistic, as you're not fishing it wrong. You might not be fishing it the best way ever, but you're not fishing it wrong, and you can still catch fish. And again. That's one way to cast 
I'll have some hare hunting videos. Hare hunting. Yeah, that's what it's called now. Rabbit hunting videos coming out. And according to Nebraska Game and Parks, or at least I'll have to look it up, but I think I can still hunt rabbits. Because, well, we own this ground, and I think it's, you're allowed to hunt rabbits for conservation and pest control or whatever you want to call it. So there's going to be some rabbit hunting videos if it's legal coming out. Because my mom does not like rabbits in her garden. Who knew, right? This summer it'll be a lot funner fishing. I'll probably have a GoPro. And I can actually do stuff without having to bring out the, I'm going to call it the big camera. That's what I'm going to put it on. It's nowhere near big. But it's bigger than a GoPro. Actually, it's about the same size, but it's higher quality, I guess. Maybe. Ish. But yeah. That's how to see up a swim bait and an extra kind of cast. Sag you off. Cup ahead crew. Peace.